Welcome. In this session, we are going to see how to install Oracle 18C Express Edition into our Windows machine. We have to follow these three steps in order to install Oracle 18C Express Edition. So first we are going to install the Express Edition. Then we are going to configure our SQL developer. So since 18C Express Edition doesn't have any HR schema, we are going to import the HR schema into the database. So these three steps we will see one by one. The prerequisite for this particular installation is, so we need to have four GB of RAM and Windows 8 or 10 OS. First, we are going to download this Express Edition. So type Oracle 18C Express Edition download for Windows. Go to this particular page. You can download here two versions. One is Linux and also Windows. You can click on Windows. So you can agree this license agreement. Click on download. It will ask you to sign in. If you have already the Oracle account, you can sign in. Or if you do not have Oracle account, you create new one and sign in. Since I have, I'm going to sign in and I'm going to download. Once you have downloaded, you'll be having this particular zip file. You can unzip it by using this WinRAR or WinZip. You can click on extract to Oracle XE. So it will be extracted like this. If you do not have WinRAR, download the WinRAR and then unzip the file. So once the file has been extracted, the folder, double click on the folder, go to the setup file. So double click on the setup file, click on S. So you'll be getting this particular page, preparing to install. You can click on next, accept the license, click on next, next. So it will ask you to enter the password. You can enter the password as any password you can enter. So I'm just entering as admin. So confirm the password. So this password is, this password can be used for these particular accounts like sys, system or PDB admin. So these three, you can use it. Click on next. So look at here. So this is what it will go to. It will go and install. Install here. It will start installing the file. It will take 10 to 15 minutes. So we will wait for a couple of minutes and then we will check. If it is asking some Windows Defender, click on Allow Access, it will progress with the installation. So once the installation has been completed, so you'll be getting this particular page. Note down all these details from here. Once Oracle database has been installed successfully, we have to configure that SQL developer. So we will configure this SQL developer. Type Oracle SQL developer download from the Google and you can go to this particular page. You can download this particular software. Windows 64 bit with JDK 8 has been installed. You can download from here. Once if you're clicking on the download. So again, here also you have to sign in and automatically. So once you have signed in, automatically it will get downloaded. So once downloaded, it will be available like this, the zip file. You can right click on the zip file and you can go to the extract and you can extract the zip file. So if you have WinRAR, you can extract by using this, this particular option or you can download the WinRAR and then you can unzip it. So even the unzip, all, the zip also is, is fine. So once it has been extracted, so you'll be having like this. So double click on it, go to this SQL developer icon, double click this icon. So SQL developer is, will be opened. So meanwhile, I have given all the steps here, the document, even in the SQL plus also, I can test it whether we have successfully installed the software. You can go to Windows R, click on SQL plus. You can make the username is slash as sysdba. So you can go to this sysdba. So it is showing like Oracle Express 18C Express Edition has been installed. So here you can mention this, this particular alter session, this one. So, so normally this will be automatically will be available. If it is not available, you can set the container as xcpdb1. So click on this. So it should be succeeded. SQL developer has been opened now. You can look at here. So this is what you'll be having it. So from SQL developer, we are going to connect the database. So this is what Oracle we have installed. Oracle 18C, the server we have installed, either the Oracle 
18C Express Edition we have installed, right? So we have installed. So once that the DB has been installed, it will have automatically one schema. Schema is nothing but the subset of our database. So we'll have one schema that is the admin schema will be available automatically. You can have this admin schema. In this admin schema, all related to the metadata tables will be available. The username for this admin schema will be system or sys. sys. And the password for this admin schema will be whatever the password we have given while installing the software. So we have given the admin password, admin as the password that you can use it. So this will have all the metadata tables, like dictionary tables. So you'll be having the metadata tables. So you'll be having all the tables. So whenever you are creating any tables in other schema, the Oracle will make an entry here in this metadata tables, like dictionary tables. All the dictionary tables will be maintained in this particular admin schema. And you'll be having by default, you'll be having the schema called HR. So here, the schema is nothing but subset of database. So instead of having all the data in a single schema, we are going to have a different schema. In real time also, we will be having a lot of schemas, right? Hundreds of schema will be there in the real time. So by default, the Express Edition will have HR schema in it. So it will be locked state, we have to unlock it. Then we'll be having, so you can create any, any number of schemas. So you can create, for an example here, I'm going to create a schema called work schema. So work schema I'm going to create, so that I can create. So this schema we are creating, this HR schema is already available in the system. Okay, so what is the username? We are going to have this HR schema. We are going to have the same HR and password also, we are going to have as HR. The same way for the work schema, we are going to have the username as, again, these are all user schema. We will call it as user schema. Username is, again, the password is, we are going to have as work. Why do we need these schemas? So the schema will have different tables. For an example, different objects it will have. So it will have the table called employees, right? So employees, human related tables will be there, departments, locations, all the tables will be there here. And work schema will have different schema. You can create different tables here. So work schema, for an example here, you can create a table called customer. You can create a table called product. You can create a table called regions. So different scheme tables you can create, different views you can create, different object you can, you can create. For an example, from admin, you have to access the other schema tables. You have to mention the schema name dot table name. So HR dot employees. So this is what you have to mention this. If you want to access the work schema tables, then you have to go with, so work dot table name customer. So this is what you have to access it. So normally in real time, so we'll be accessing the tables by using the schema name dot table name. I hope you'd have clear about the schema. Schema is nothing but subset of our data warehouse, subset of our database. It will have all the objects. So this schema will have tables, views, indexes, all the objects. So again, this schema also separate tables, views, indexes, all the objects it will have. So in order to access this particular database, in our client machine, in our real time, if you if you go to the in a real time project, you will be accessing from your machine only. So from our machine, we can access through the GUI, graphical user interface, that front end tool. You have the application tool called the graphical user interface. So from here, we are going to use the graphical interface tool as SQL developer. So SQL developer is the tool. It will connect to the database and it will show you what data is available. You can query this database. You can query this different, you can connect to the different schema and then you can see what data is available on the tables. So this is what SQL developer, SQL developer, that is what we have downloaded. So SQL developer will be running on Java JDK. So that we have, while downloading, it has been included. In project, either you can use SQL developer or you can use the different tools called Toad for Oracle. So you'd have heard about this tool, Toad for Oracle, right? So this one you can use or any other different tools like SQL plus any tools you can use it. Whatever the tool you are going to use it, the data it's coming from the underlying database. So whatever the tool you can use. So one project, they might be using SQL developer. The other project, they might be using Toad for Oracle. 
the other project might be using SQL plus whatever the front end tool they are using. It's not an issue here. You are, you are going to connect to the underlying database. So database will be one particular places. It will be available, but the SQL developer in every machines, the developer will install the Oracle client with SQL developer. They will be installing. Then they will be connecting to the database. So to connect with database, I need to have the database name, port number, service name, everything. So that we will see. So first, so go to this SQL developer file, double click on the file, go to this particular green color icon. Since we have already installed Oracle 18 C express edition. So now we are going with opening this SQL developer from SQL developer. We are connecting to the different schema, which is available in the database. So just to open it first time, it will ask yes or no, give no. And then it will open. I have given this document for your reference in the link, the descriptions. You can refer this document for your installation steps. So I hope you would have taken the screenshot of the last uh, page. The database name is showing like local host and port number is 1521. And service name it is showing like XEPDB1. So this is the one you have to remember this. Okay. Once has been this page has been completed. So take the screenshot and finish it. If you if you forget to take that, so note down here. So click on this plus symbol. So I am asking you to note down, right? So this is what we are going to configure. So from, from SQL developer, we are going to connect this database instance. So that you need to have all the details. So click on this plus symbol, plus symbol here. So one window will be open. The name of the connection, you can give any name. So I'm giving as admin. The username is system or sys. You can give system or sys. The password will be whatever the password we have given while installing the software. So username, password, host name, local host, port number is 1521, SID is XC. If you click on the test right, so you might be getting error. So test it, whether it is able to ping from, from this SQL developer to this database instance. So you are getting some error. The network adapter could not establish the connection. If you are getting this particular error, so go to this particular path, go to C drive, you'll be having folder called app. So double click on it, go to this folder. So this is the name of your system. Go to product, the version of the database and go to DB home XE. So you can go to the network folder, go to admin. You can see TNS names dot or file. So this is the TNS entry. You can check why it is not connecting. So edit with notepad plus plus. If you look at here, this is showing like XC. The service name should be XCP DB1. So that is the one you need to have. You, you can copy this XCP DB1. You can paste it in the service name here. And the host name. So here we have defined as local host, but here it has taken us the host name is this IP address, right? So everywhere it will be taking like this. So you can copy this IP address. Either you can copy from here and paste it here or wherever the IP address is there, you can replace the IP address with the local host. Anything is possible. Okay. So just we are following that host name is this name. Port number is 1521. Service name is XEPDB1. So click on test. So it is showing like status equal to success. You can click on connect. It will be connected. Okay. If you click on the, so it will automatically open one window. So if you look at here, so you can check how many users are there. Select star from all underscore users. So why we are checking whether we have the HR schema or not. So if you look at here, we are the HR schema, right? So we are the HR schema so that we will initially the HR schema will be on locked state. So this like HR schema in the locked state, we will unlock it. So it's a predefined schema. The tables will be there automatically here so that we will unlock it. How to unlock the HR schema? So alter user username identified by password, password is HR account unlock. So this syntax I have given in the link, the description, you can use it. So user has been altered. Then you can use, you can use this plus symbol. You can click on HR, go to this username, HR password is HR. And the host name you have to copy from the TNS file. 
So you can use this host name. Port number is 1521. Service name is XEPDB1. So this is what you have to follow. Test it. HR schema is success. Connect. So connected. Right? Admin HR. Then HR schema connected. Now we will create one more schema called work schema. So that is what this schema is already present. This one is not present. This we will create. How to create? So create user username in work identified by work. So this is what. So we are creating a user. So control enter to execute this particular line of code. Either you can select and click on this green color icon or you can keep the cursor anywhere in the particular line. You can put control enter to be created. So every syntax you can, you can have the practice like semicolon. It tells the Oracle to terminate this particular line of code. Okay. So now we have to grant permission. So grant connect comma resource to work. So since we have created this user, we have to provide the permissions. So these, all these statement I have given in the description, you can take it. So click on the plus symbol. You can go to work schema. You can have this username is work and password is work and host name will be so this is the host name host name will be this is the host name you can paste it and service name will be xepdb1 so this is the one you can click on test connected so it will be connected if you look at here nothing will be there tables nothing will be there why because we have created the scheme so this is what so here you can create any number of so if i want to for an example i want to create a table called customer i can use create table table name cust customer so open bracket you can put customer id so number data type so number of customer id so number of eight digit you can put eight and then you can put customer name so you can create n number of uh, columns but just i'm creating two columns to show you how this is uh, working so all the columns has been created then semicolon control enter it will show like customer table has been created you can see a yes, select star from table so this is what you can check whether it is working fine or not so you can check it i told right in the hr schema you'll be having predefined tables like select star from employees table so it's a predefined tables sometimes so in your system whatever the software you are getting it sometimes you are not having this hr schema no worries you can use how you can check it how to import HR schema in our database. So that I have given a separate video. You can follow that, you can import it. So mostly this XC, it will have the HR schema. So you can see here the sample tables are there. So this is what you can open it. So once everything has been done, you can close it. So you can close it and next time how to open it. So that is what you, will, you may ask question. So next time just you can go to this particular file where you have this SQL developer, double click, double click on this. SQL developer, you can open. So this is what you can open in the next time. So I hope you are clear about the Oracle installation, Oracle 18C Express Edition installation. If you have any doubts, kindly raise your doubts in the comments. So I will clarify your doubts. So thank you for watching. So if you haven't subscribed my channel, so kindly subscribe and click on the bell button. So you'll be getting all the noti notifications. Thank you all. We will meet in the next session.